hot as fuck in this room. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Learn With Lawn video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a black smoky eye, how you can achieve this black smoky eye, and different ways that you can create a black smoky eye. So if that is something that you're interested in, then please keep on watching. So before I get into everything, I'm just gonna put a little lip gloss on my lips because my lips are always crusty and like nobody wants to look at crusty lips. Plus, it also moisturizes while you apply your makeup so your lips are nice and moisturized when you go in to apply either liquid lipstick, lipstick, lip gloss, whatever it may be, your lips are kind of prepped, so major key alert. So I know when it comes to a black smoky eye, it can be one of the most frightening and scary looks that you can create. Even scarier than a cut crease, um, a half cut crease, uh, a, a glitter cut crease, whatever it may be, it can be even scarier than that because it's black. And when you think of black, it's like hard to blend out, hard to work with, things of that sort. And I hope I'm going to make this easy for you guys and easy for you guys to achieve. Um, if you want, you can take the same exact steps that I did with the brown smoky eye and just apply a little bit of black eyeliner to the lash line and smoke that upwards. And when I mean upwards, I mean smoke that up towards your crease and that will make it a black smoky eye. It's not going to have black all over the lid. It's not going to be extremely intense, nothing like that. It's going to be a little more gradual. And once you feel comfortable with black being on your eyelid, you can take it up a notch from there. So if you are a beginner, I recommend that you first watch the brown smoky eye tutorial. If you haven't seen that one, it'll be linked at the end of this video. So you can get a feel and understanding of what a smoky eye is, what it does, what it looks like, and you know the different types of colors that you can create with it. You guys overwhelmingly wanted to see a black smoky eye, which was very, very, very kind of like, like, ooh, like, excuse me, because black is so scary and especially for me, but you know, we're going to do it. We're going to get through with it. I hope that I make it very easy for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you want to do is prime your lid. I'm going to use my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is in D40. Priming your lid just cancels out any darkness. I have a little bit of darkness on the lid. It creates a single clean canvas um, and it also, you know, cancels out any discoloration, anything that you may have going on as well as priming. Most concealers have a creaseless technology. Now, granted, if you've got like little folds, like I have a little fold right here, it's going to crease. I mean, it's not... Nothing is 100% crease proof. So you wanna make sure that you either set this down or go directly in with eyeshadow. I personally today am going to set this down, but when I go in with color, I do not set it down so that way that color has something to grasp and grab onto. Okay, you guys, we're going to use a combination of eyeshadows. I'm just pulling, you know, what I have. First step, what I like to do, so there's people that like to work backwards. Some people like to apply the black, then the brown, then the transition shade. I like to work with the transition shade, the crease shade, and then the lid shade. That's just how I've always learned. That's how I've always applied it. That's just how I am. I'm gonna take a really large fluffy brush and I'm going to work this into the crease. This is a transition shade. A transition shade can be a little darker than your skin tone. It can be reddish brown. It can be maroon. The transition shade does not matter. It can be whatever color. For the sake of this video, I'm going to take a little bit of Sidekick from Makeup Geek with a little bit of Cocoa Bear. Um, both of these shades will probably be re, um, renamed because I know Marlena from Makeup Geek, who's the owner, she's keeping the same product and the same colors and consistencies, but she's just changing the names. So that might be true for these shades. Uh, and when they get rebranded, I'll make sure that I, you know, of course, call them by the right name. I am on their PR list, so I should get the rebranded things. But this is just going to be my transition shade. The transition shade is the shade right smack dab between your brow bone highlight and your crease shade. So it's just the in-between shade. And you just want to take your time. I know some of you guys say that you struggle and, you know, you have issues and problems and you just can't figure it out. Take your time time like if you have the time to play around and you know you don't have young kids and you don't have to worry about you know different things take your time and just play in the makeup and just kind of just work with it just figure it out next I'm going to take a brown I'm actually going to take a brown out of the Juvia's Place Saharan 2 palette it's the purple one I'm going to take the shade Fez right here 
and that's going to go as my crease shade. I'm going to use a JH34. This is like a rounded crease brush. And this is going to be my crease shade. So this shade just goes smack dab in the middle of the transition shade and the black. Now this shade is actually more warm than I like it. So I'm going to take my Nubian 2 palette and take Kenya right here. It's a little, it's a little more of a brown. Because you want this middle shade to be in between the two shades that you use. So this brown shade is in between the black and in between the reddish brown that we used in the crease. So you want your crease shade, the shade that's going to help you blend out the black, to be the middle color. So right in between the colors on the spectrum, if that makes any sense. So I'm just applying this into the crease. Not too much because we're going to be applying a little bit more. So just making sure that I have groundwork down ready to be blended a little later and then for the black the black can be as intense and as deep and as dark as you want or it can be as subtle as you want so you can take the black right now and just smoke it out on your lash line if you want to do that i guarantee or i don't guarantee excuse me i recommend <laughs> that you try it out like that first so take like a fluffy brush whether it's like another blending brush or whether it's like a brush like this that's just nice and fluffy. Take a brush like this and pat the black on the lid and then blend it out a little bit and see how you like it like that before you try to make it intense. I'm going to try to make it intense. So I'm going to take this eyeshadow base from NYX. It looks like this. And it's a black eyeshadow base. It's kind of like a gel eyeliner, but it's not a gel eyeliner. And this is what I'm going to use as my base color for the black. I'm going to use an E58 cream color brush from Sigma. And I'm going to apply this all over the lid space. Now this is really going to intensify that black and make it 10 times darker. Make sure you hit the lash line as well and start to bring it up into the crease. This is a tacky base, so it will make applying the black on it really nice. For the black, I'm going to use Makeup Geeks Corrupt, and I'm going to take it on this E25 blending brush from Sigma, and I'm just going to take it on the side of the brush and do like a padding-like motion. just like that and make sure I pat it all the way over the color I'm also going to take the same brush and just start to work the color into the crease and I'm going to start doing like small circular buffing motions I'm actually going to switch the brush because I feel like that brush is just a little too big. So I'm going to actually switch it. So I actually am going to switch over to a JH40. This brush is so good for like detailing crease work. Absolutely love it. So what I'm going to do is take the black corrupt shade, take it on this brush, and start to blend it into the crease. And by having a smaller, more precise tapered brush, you're able to get into the socket of the crease without expanding the black all the way up. And that's what I mean when I say like, it can get intense and it can get, you know, really crazy. Having a smaller brush like this, is going to keep it where it's supposed to be, keep it in its place, so to speak. And it's just a lot of going back and forth. That's why Black Smoky Eyes, I think I film a Black Smoky Eye video every, I don't know, every year or two. Because they're just tedious and they take a lot of work and I just don't do them that often. A lot of wrist action with this as well, a lot of circular motions to buff that color out. A lot of that. Because the circular motions are going to buff the side to side motions are just going to kind of swipe it back and forth. 
you can certainly do both. What I'm going to do is switch back over to that Kenya color. And this is why I mentioned that you don't need a lot because you are going to go back in with more. So I'm just going to take it right over where the black is to make that a little darker and to merge those two colors together. Love, love, love. There's no product on this brush. I'm just running it over the top just to make sure everything's nice and blended together. And then boom, bam, thank you, ma'am. Like you literally have the black smoky eye. Now what you can do is clean up out here if you want a nice, crisp, sharp edge. Um, I'm not going to worry about it too much. But we, ourselves... We have ourselves a nice black smoky eye, nice and deep and rich and dark and intense. So what I'm going to do is do the other eye. Um, and also, like as you see, I'm just taking brushes and adding more product, blending some product out. Um, I pretty much have like two brushes in my hand at all times whenever I'm doing a smoky eye. Because it's a lot of back and forth. It's a lot of apply, a lot of take away, a lot of blend out, a lot, a lot, a lot of that. So um, it's just blending just blending work and just it's just a lot your job is never done when you're doing a smoky eye so i'm going to do the other eye and then i'm going to come back on for the lips and the final you know final points and things like that so yeah okay you guys so i'm going to put a black liner in the waterline this is optional the lower lash line is always optional it just adds that extra smoke appeal so i'm just going to apply this into the waterline And as you can see, I have some baking going on just underneath the lash line just to kind of protect. Is that what, what is this hair doing? Did I get it off? Okay. Um, just to kind of protect the lower lash line because black can be pretty intense. And I'm going to use an E15 and also that same corrupt eyeshadow and go directly underneath of the lash line. And because I'm doing this, um, I just needed that barrier to kind of protect it. I'm also connecting it right out here to where I kind of cleaned up that line out in the outer V and then just do the same thing. And you can drag this black down as far down as you want. You know, it depends on how intense you're looking for your lower lash line to be. Um, I don't think I want it to be too, too, too crazy intense, but just enough smoky to go around. So now I'm going to take a pencil brush and also the same brown shade and just use that to blend it out. And the brown I'm not worried about being too defined, like too clean to so to speak. I'm just using it just to buff the black so I'm kind of being a little more messy than I was with the black. Also making sure I kind of rough up this outer edge a little bit. My nose is watering. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry with all the sniffles, but I don't want it to be too perfect. Okay, so the last step is inner corner. In the inner corner, you can kind of do whatever you want to do with it. Um, I think I'm going to do gold. I have this like liquid gold eyeshadow. It's the Appeal Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade gold. I think I'm going to pop this into the inner corner has a little brush. I'm just going to use like a little inner corner brush. Tap some of it off on my finger or my hand and just kind of pat it in there. Alright, last is lashes and lips. The lashes I'm going to apply are the More Lashes in the Style Soul Snatcher Mascara and then lips. And we'll be set to go. Alright y'all, so we are finally ready for the lips. I'm just going to do nude just because, you know, that's what I'm going for. I'm going to use the Nade Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick and Lip Liner. Um, you can order them off of NadeCosmetics.com. I will make sure I link that down below. 
I'll actually make sure I do it because I always forget. But this is the lip liner in the shade Lush. It's a brown lip liner and it is a pencil, so you'd have to sharpen it. And then the liquid lipstick is in Sunkissed, so it's just a really light nude. I'm actually going to grab my other lip liner because this one is a little light and like for my liking. Like I like for my lip liner to kind of have like a stark difference. And it doesn't. So, switch it. So this is the Kiss Lip Liner in Chocolate. This is the one that I've been loving. Okay, you guys, so that is it. That wraps up the Black Smoky Eye tutorial. I know it may seem, especially when the look is completely finished, it may seem like a lot. But as I mentioned, try to work yourself up to like this full Black Smoky Eye because this is full on drama. Like, I don't even... I don't even know where I would wear this look to. Honestly, like a look like this, I would wear it to a club or like a party that's about me. You know what I mean? Like not somebody else's party. Like if I'm going to somebody else's party, I'm wearing my brown smoky eye all day long. But if it's like my party, I want to be the star, the drama, you know, everything. This is where I was wear the where I would wear that look. I don't know about a date night. It's not really my type of thing. You can also throw some glitter over the top of this black glitter and girl, swoop those edges and you'll be set. Like, I, I don't know. I love the look. It's just not something that I do too often. But nonetheless, if you have any questions, I can't, can I talk? Can I talk? Excuse me? Nonetheless, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below for me. Any and all questions. You can also DM me on Instagram. I'm always responding to DMs from you guys. I love you guys so much. You guys are so supportive. Um, uh, but yeah, leave them down below. Leave them in my DMs on Instagram, whatever it may be. All of my handles will be at the end of this video. Also down in the description box as well. Um, that's all I have for you guys. I want you guys to bust out your makeup. And try a black smoky eye for me, whether it's just dusting it on the lid, smoking out on the lash line, or doing the full on effect. I want to see them. Send me pictures on Instagram so I can share them on my Instagram stories and all of that. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.